Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going over my free trade dividend portfolio and also why I think the stock market has been going down recently. But before we get into the contest, guys, if you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. Uh, I'm on a goal to get to 2,000 subscribers, so I need all the support I can get. Also, definitely consider smashing that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really does improve my channel, you know, get my channel to more people. So yeah, guys, it's been a probably a good time to do this update. I've been meaning to do one anyway, but now it's just made it even more of a better time. The market is currently down. As you can see, my portfolio currently stands at £3,701. Uh, in the last day, it's down around £13. In the last week, it's down actually over £100, about £126 down. So I was slightly in the green at one point, but I was quite short-lived. Um, I did kind of expect it anyway, guys, to be honest. But And then the overall in the month, um, down around £24. So it's been, obviously, you can see an up and down month. So, but what I'm going to show you first, I'm just going to go into my activity tab and just show you any dividends that I've received or any new little purchases I've bought. So, I'm going to check it out. So, in September so far, I've had a dividend of six pence from Wells Fargo. Obviously, Wells Fargo are massively slashed the dividend. Um, I think they did pay around 40 pence, 30 pence at one point, 6p off them. Intel paid me 21 pence. And then I got a Pfizer dividend on the, uh, the first again for 96 pence. Seven days later, one from Johnson & Johnson, £1.36. I uh, bought a couple of fractional shares of Apple, £2.40 is worth. Then a Microsoft dividend on the 10th of September of 60, uh, 67 pence. Um, a few more fractional shares of AT&T bought. And the last bit of activity so far was my uh, dividend from Royal Dutch Shell today, which was for £1.20. Again, they've cut the dividend massively, Shell. Um, performing quite poorly at the moment but now we'll get into the video there's a few stocks that i'll give a general overview guys of how my stock has been doing but i'm going to talk about a couple of certain ones so the first one on the list is um coca-cola uh up 1.38 percent in the last 30 days and um, i've actually dipped a bit recently in the last seven days uh, but coca-cola planning a few bit a few changes to the business looking to restructure the workforce um, and, con and concern more their efforts on the um, fastest growing products. So I was a higher growth pol portfolio, so they'll be uh, cutting some things, um, such as reallocating some people and resources, which will also include uh, voluntary and involuntary re reductions in employees. Obviously, everyone's feeling the effects of what's been going on recently. Uh, also, by shrinking the portfolio, they're going to be putting more of their efforts into the most uh, promising categories such as the banner coat products so the sparkling favors hydration sports drinks coffee tea and other nutrition juice milk and plant-based drinks a bit of information about the dividend guys um, the dividend payout ratio has risen to 90 percent coke currently holds 166 17.6 billion in liquidities so this should allow it to cover the annual dividend cost of which it's a shot of uh, 7 billion so with that, they have a free cash flow of um, 6.93 billion with a net income of net, uh, 9.18 uh, billion as the total dividends are literally just below 7 billion, around 6.897. So Coca-Cola again, down at the moment overall. I still think it's a great time to buy them. They're up to around $59, uh, $59 before the pandemic. But again, long-term hold, nice dividend pay as well. So look to add, add to this whenever I can. So the next uh, stock that I do really want to talk about is Apple. Apple recently, obviously, they've had the um, they've split the stock now, and since then they're down four point seven um, percent in the last thirty days, down a further four percent in the last uh, week or so. And so obviously, they had last week they had the convention where they released a lot of new products and um, new subscription service, which is called Apple Plus, uh, Apple One subscription, I believe. They also unveiled a new um, fitness app, new smartwatch, uh, and a new iPad. So, you know, plenty of things going on with Apple at the moment. They've got a few different plans on the subscription service. They've got the standard plan, which is fourteen ninety five a month, which includes Apple Music, Apple TV Plus, Apple Arcade, which is new, and also fifty gigabit gigabytes, sorry, of iCloud storage. And then they have the individual plan, which is a bit extra fourteen ninety five a month, which has all of the above, but you get the extra two hundred gigabytes of um, storage. 
And then finally, they have the premier plan, which is £30 a month, which has the same family sharing benefits, plus Apple News and Apple Fitness. So Apple looking to obviously get more ways to get more money out of you, basically. Obviously, people will sign up to these. So I do think some of them are good ideas, as well as releasing new iPads and new watches. So just whether they get, obviously Apple, they don't need much marketing. Obviously, any new products people sort of flock to. So yeah, Apple down uh, 4% 4 in the one, sorry. So the next stock which I want to talk about is Carnival. Carnival absolutely tanked it recently. They're down 10% in the month and dropped further 14% in the last uh, week from, from being £10 all the way down to £8.97. But it plummeted mainly because of the reports of the quarter three loss their earnings report of a three almost three billion. They also they also plan for a one billion dollar um, stock offering for accelerated capacity reductions, basically selling one billion pounds worth of stock assets, nine hundred million um, losses on ship sales and impairments. Obviously, nobody's been going on cruises for a, a good half, over half a year now, so they obviously they need they need to do something to sort of balance that cash flow when they're not actually earning the revenue. Also. They're um, expected to dispose of 18 cruise ships in the fiscal 2020, representing 12% of the company capacity. Carnival is a sort of, I'm in a bit of profit only by, only on two shares, five pounds, but I was looking at selling these as basically, I don't think the dividend will be back for a while yet, but I saw I'm holding out on the growth and expecting them maybe to get back, it won't be any time soon, but so I get back to at least half of what they was, obviously once a 30, um, seven dollars seven pound stock now all the way down to eight dollars so that's carnival so the main stocks i wanted to talk about guys so we'll just go through them all abby you can see i'm up in quite a few positions like abby verizon coke and microsoft 40 percent in microsoft you've obviously recently missed out on tiktok Coke getting up one percent in down ten percent in at and t and down seven bucks in seven bucks <laughs> seven pound in starbucks that was a tongue twister up 6.68% in Johnson Johnson. Ford still down 20%, but I've seen a recovery of them. Obviously, they did go down to around $4, four so back up to almost 7 which is a better sign. I spoke about them in the last portfolio video, which if you missed, I'll link in the description below. Then we have Pfizer, who are down 3.17%. Shell, again, oil and gas still crippled. They're down to £9, just under £10 now which is the lowest they've been for a long time, at least over the last five years. Then we have PepsiCo down 7.53% with, uh, I am down, I'm up 4.96% with the S&P 500, just under 5%. They've actually dipped a little bit as well, which I'll explain later when I talk about why I think the stock market will be, um, why, why it's going down currently. Then we have Imperial Brands, who are, I'm down almost 30% with, Again, a stock who's been really struggling, but actually up 6.47% in the last 30 days. But again, overall, they're down 35% pretty much in the year. So next we have BP. I spoke about BP a couple of times on various videos and uh, portfolio updates. So again, they've been crippled this month down 15%. Um, it's their business model for the future that I'm really looking, looking, looking forward to. Moving away from the oil and gas. Again, I spoke about BP in a separate video, analyzing the stock, which again, you can see um, on the above screen now, if you want to have a take a look at that after this video. Uh, Royal Bank of Canada, I was actually in the green with them, but now down 1.75%, recently paid dividend. Obviously, Apple, we just spoke about, we were up, 50, um, up 11%. And then BA Tobacco, down 8.84%. Intel, I'm up 3% with them. Lloyd's again, I'll discuss in the, um, when I'm talking about the stock market, but down 15, just under 16%. Lloyd's really struggling. Banks in general are doing really poorly, obviously, at the moment with low interests and loans paying out to sort of bail the government out, basically. So again, HSBC down 50%. National Grid, I'm up 1.56%. Generally quite reliable, the gas and utilities companies, but these are down 6% in the month. Wells Fargo, again, US Bank down just under 48%. Carnival, I'm still I'm still up for forty five percent, but I was up around seventy five percent, so they have dipped a little bit for me. Obviously, I've explained the reasons why they've gone down due to the um, reports of the uh, Q three losses of three billion, which obviously three billion is a lot of money and cripple a lot of businesses. Taylor Wimpy down 
uh, 44%. So my last couple of stocks, obviously Greencoat UK, which I want to be selling because I don't really see the need in holding them. Bancor and UK Island Gas. So, so that's the portfolio update, guys. So obviously we've all seen, obviously in the last week, you can see my portfolio has dropped significantly. Um, a lot of U um, UK stocks dropping, obviously. Fears that we're going to go into another lockdown. So the market itself, it, it fears anything like that in the news. So it, investors sort of pull out, put money elsewhere, and it just has a chain reaction on the market. So whether we do go into another lockdown or not, we'll see. But it is having a uh, detrimental effect, especially on UK stocks at the moment. Rising in cases as well, it doesn't help. But I think with the, the American stocks, again, obviously the effects of the pandemic will be looming large over it once more but I, I think uh, with the political issues at the moment there's a lot of uncertainty so obviously the stock market does like some certainty in it so it's always a, a lot of things have a chain reaction on it guys so i wouldn't panic just keep doing your research into stocks and whether you think they're good buys now if they're down I, I do always say when they are down it's the best time to buy but obviously do your own research as well guys so yeah guys that is it for today's video i tried to make it um, quite a quick one didn't want to sort of ramble on too much. Got a few over a few points of uh, stock to want to talk about, and obviously going to given a general overview of the portfolio. So, with that being said, I'll leave you to it today, guys. Don't forget to smash the like button for the algorithm, comment, and subscribe as well. So, take care, guys. Bye.